and for everything. Uh, listen, I, I, I'm very proud to be part of this group. Uh, we, we've concluded our planned presentations. I just feel privileged to be among such people as all of you guys. That's just amazing. Thank you for being yeah. a part of the longevity day. Just one thing, uh, you know, before we conclude, uh, uh, there are several uh, representatives of other important organizations. Uh, uh, if you want to present yourself even a couple of minutes, uh, who you are, like um, Aging Partners and and, uh, and Patrick, and maybe Jabba, or just a couple of minutes, uh, tell uh, tell us um, uh, who, who, who you are, what you do, if you want. So, hello, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Adelaide. I am Jabba's wife. Uh, I help him often with his works, uh, often with the translation to be precise. Uh, this year, Jabba has concluded his studies, not studies, hypothesis of the Centriolar theory, theory of aging, where he precisely elaborates on the processes of how aging can, uh, what are one of the possible ways of how aging takes place. And, and um, as a matter of fact, uh, when he had finished writing, uh, it's not it's not published yet, but Hopefully it will be soon. Uh, when he had finished writing, he uh, shared his uh, paper with Leonard Hayflick. He sent it to him for the review. And as a matter of fact, uh, we were a bit astounded by his review because he had nothing um, opposing to say, uh, only the fact that the hypothesis needs to be tested and uh, yeah, put to experiment. So uh, hopefully, um, this is, I think, um, a major work uh, for, um, let's say, a major um, contribution, I think, to be honest, because uh in the few uh this <laughs> hypothesis is look at the aging from a completely different angle as far as until this day there were many experiments and it it explains uh it adds to the leonard's opinion a bit about the second law of thermodynamics why it can be the reason for one of the reasons for aging. Can we find his work somewhere that we can read it? Yes, yes, certainly you can. Uh, right now. Uh, if you want, he can share it with you right now, but it's not actually published yet. Oh, okay. So the, yeah. he couldn't send it to me because it's not published yet. So yeah, it's okay. No, 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 no. No, he can send it to you, but I mean, he can send it to you personally, uh, yeah. but uh in online sources you cannot find it yet Understand. so yeah hopefully i'm going to enter my email address in the chat and he can send it to me via email is that does that work yes yes, yes certainly. Okay. Certainly. and i want to say that jabba was has been with ila from the start from uh, you know june 2012 one of the oldest members of ila all the supporters so for a great supporter uh, did great uh, longevity day events in georgia you know, with newspapers, a lot of uh, awareness. Uh, so um, uh, I hope uh, we meet the next, uh, it wasn't planned, so I hope we need to uh, meet the next uh, ILA meeting so we can discuss Jabba's ideas more and, you know, um, and have, uh, have some- uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And as a matter of fact, in one of his uh, experiments where he described his uh, clinical trial of dazetinib and quercetin on people, on humans, the uh, the senolytic effect, there he just, in passing, mentioned the hypothesis, but at that time, I guess it was not uh, quite, uh, he did not elaborate on that. Like only this time, this is uh, more, this work that is at hand right now is more important yeah, and more Mr. crucial. Yeah. yeah. And it's it was actually done in collaboration with Leonard. So, Leonard Hayflick. So, uh, is the yeah. work around analytics then? 
Is the work around analytics? No, no, it's it's not about analytics. It's it it is okay. about aging study. It is about the reason of aging. Okay. What can cause aging? Yeah, at a cellular level. So, thank you. Looking forward to learning more. Yeah. Great. So, so next meeting of file we discussed in the three weeks of work. Great. Thank you very much, Java. Uh, does anybody? Okay, uh, Special representative of, of uh, organizations want to present a couple of minutes. I just want to say that ILA welcomes uh, additional uh, pro longevity organizations as to be a nonprofit, not a commercial organization. Uh, but uh, we welcome uh, people, you know, to apply to become federated members. All the details are at the site, and you know, if it, there is no obligations. Basically, uh, the federated members are completely autonomous. Uh, they don't ask um, ILA for any for any permissions to do their work, but they have to be pro longevity. They have to agree uh, with the goal of health and longevity, of, of um, uh, addressing the aging problem. Uh, but and if if we are a lot of organizations, we represent the power. Or the, also at the political uh, level, at the international level, even if we are very loosely connected, um, uh, just from the size of it, uh, for the, if we are many organizations in around the world uh, that's that's already a bargaining force so um, uh, if you are a representative of a nonprofit welcome to uh, consider applying and right now if anybody wants to um, uh, present themselves even briefly like uh, aging partners or um, uh, or anybody else anybody yeah. well, I will because I have been working on this area for some time and now I'm going to go ahead and officially join uh, the organizations. I'm Edward Hudgens of the Human Achievement Alliance, and um, most of my work is in public policy and in education, raising the consciousness of people, influencers, and policymakers on what is possible to create, to move from our sick care system to a true health care system that, in fact, will allow us to live uh, decades and even hundreds of years in a healthy situation. I've been working on reform here on the Food and Drug Administration, which is uh, in outside Washington, D.C., where I live. Uh, I've worked on legislation on this matter, uh, regulatory reforms and so forth, and, and uh, on an international basis too with our friends in Africa. So I'm very anxious to uh, get more involved. By the way, I'll mention that today is October 1st and it is my father's uh, 91st birthday. Um, and Congratulations. He is, yeah, he is, uh, yeah, now he's not in good shape. Uh, he's uh, he's in a, a, a uh, assisted living facility with my mother who has very serious Alzheimer's. So uh, I have a very personal interest in this, but even before that, when I look at my parents and see they've reached their 90s, uh, but their health is not so good, I wanna reach my 90s and I want all of us to reach our 90s and be really, really healthy. So I have a personal interest as well. Okay. <laughs> Great, great to have you. Uh, so great, anybody else wants to present? Uh, hello, Elio, if I could just, thank you very much for the invitation. Um, this has been a fa fascinating meeting. It's the first time I've actually been involved. Um, I'm actually, I'm just filling in the form to, to join. So uh, I must confess, uh, I'll, I think it'll probably be as an individual rather than representing my organization. So I work for uh, the UK's National Institute for Health and Care Research. Um, my position is head of global health communications and stakeholder engagement. Um, so whereas, of course, we fund most of the clinical research um, and a lot of the health research and now uh, social care and public health research that goes on in the UK health system. Uh, my uh, my area of expertise is, is global health, which is um, applied health research in low and middle income countries. So we have a lot of projects in Africa and particularly looking at, uh, at non-communicable diseases uh, as well as health systems. Um, so there is, there is a, a lot of really relevant, interesting things professionally. I must I, I congratulate um, everybody who is involved um, Ilya and, and, and Didier, and particularly Daria, in, in the coding for WHO. Um, that's a big advance. I mean, it would be interesting to see the WHO take on uh, clinical research a little bit more seriously in terms of the decade of healthy aging, 
which seems to be more about advocacy. Uh, actually, I previously worked at Help Age International as well, so have a little bit of experience of advocacy around uh, around aging and aging support rather than, but, but this is a, I mean, actually why I'm here is because I'm also passionate about helping people live longer, healthier lives. And I've become very interested over the last couple of years in advances in aging research. Uh, and so I'm writing a book and doing some public engagement projects around this. Uh, so I'll be looking forward to, to being part of this network, I hope, and, and I hope uh, interviewing some of you in future as well. Uh, so thank you very much. It's been a real eye opener. It's been amazing to, to see not only the scientific advances, uh, but also some of the advances in terms of networking and advocacy. Um, it, it feels like there is a huge transition about to take place. Uh, I mean, already we're in a transition. The future is already here. It's just not evenly distributed. Uh, but so is, I mean, science, science literacy and health equity already. Of course, they're also not evenly distributed. Now, I guess we're never going to be that even, but I suppose it's just how to how we can extend these benefits to the greatest number of people in the, in the most efficient way possible. Um, and uh, I think it's a fantastic enterprise. So congratulations and thank you very much for uh, for having me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, honor to be. And uh, okay, anybody else? No, no. Then it, I guess it, we could uh, no, just, just, uh, just a second then. Uh, so first, uh, thank you, Ilya, because you are the main organizer of, uh, of this. Uh, thank you, Maria, because she was the second organizer of this. And uh, just to say for the, the last two, three speakers, uh, 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 and uh, uh, so Patrick and Edward, uh, uh, it's, it's really uh, very interesting uh, and uh, um, if you could, uh, uh, during the next meeting, uh, speak uh, 10 minutes about you, your favorite uh, subject, it would be, uh, uh, it would be great. Uh, um, and especially Patrick, because yeah, the, our contacts uh, in the WHO, uh, except for the ICD, they were not successful. And sadly, the, the decade uh, of healthy aging, uh, they are, they are absolutely not interested in medical research. So if you can, uh, let's say, work with us for uh, them to change a little bit. And then I had one, one last question to Edward. Edward, are you working also for the Alliance Longevity or it's another organization? Which one? Alliance Longevity, uh, who are um, kind of uh, lowering uh, uh, political uh, longevity Dylan, aspects? Dylan, Liv Dylan Livingston's organization? I don't know the name. Okay, never mind. Forget about it. <laughs> Email me because I'm working, yes, yes. I'm, I'm working with a number of uh, or organizations okay. and trying to build, in fact, a um, network. So and I'd love to work more with you guys. Uh, pas problème. Oui? Thank you. Uh, hello, Jose. Great to, to join. Uh, you want to say hi because Jose probably did uh, uh, more than many people to promote longevity yeah. there around the world, in the Spanish speaking world, and the, 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 all the other languages speaking world. So please, uh, Jose, if you want to, to say your greeting for, for longevity day. Yes, yes. Uh, my best greetings from Madrid. I'm just coming from uh, Switzerland, where I presented uh, my book in German. My book, The Death of Death, has just come out in uh, German. And right now is the second best-selling book according to the rankings of Amazon in bravo, Germany. Jose, bravo, Yes, I'm, I'm really excited. So I am sorry I couldn't join before, but uh, for well you- Well done, Jose. Chance... Yes, Brenda, hello. Hello, Brenda and Maria and Ed and, and all friends here. Ilya, by the way, I was with a very good friend of yours, uh, Sami uh, Gobel, I think is his, his last name. The goal, yes. Yes, he, he the said goal. that you are a fantastic person and all you are doing in Israel, he is in love with you and your work. So I wanted to tell you that personally, Sami really thinks you are a light in this darkness. Oh, thank you very much. In case anybody does know who Sami Segol is, he's a billionaire, Israeli billionaire. 
who really dedicates a lot of his passion, a lot of his resources to promote health and longevity research in Israel and around the world. So it is great that I lay and that we all have a friend like this. So thank you for this news. Yes, yes. Uh, we were in uh, Switzerland together uh, for the Longevity Investors Conference as well, which was a major success. A lot of things happening uh, in longevity and in the investment area as well. There were several funds investing uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. Not only Evolution Foundation, which is new in Saudi Arabia, Health Plus Evolution Foundation, also the United Arab Emirates are also creating a fund of uh, about two to $300 million on uh, longevity companies. And I am happy to say after Radfest, which is next week in San Diego, I am going to Dubai to the future, the Museum of the Future. Yes, Radfest. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in Radfest. But well, after Radfest. Happy there, yes. Yes, Maria, I know you begin, you begin Radfest uh, with some beautiful music and art. But, but after Redfest, I am going to Dubai. We're going to be performing, and speaking, and we're going to have a booth and a lot of activities. It's going to be great. Yes, beautiful. But uh, let me tell you, Dubai. Dubai is important because they are creating this uh, multi-million dollar fund for longevity. And uh, I will be talking about that in the Museum yeah. of the Future, talking about longevity and my fi favorite word, which is immortality. When or, is uh, that, Jose, in Dubai? When? Right after Redfest is uh, October 10, 11, 12. It's called mm -hmm. Dubai Future Forum. And there are four areas, space travel, uh, sustainability, uh, blockchain, Bitcoin, and longevity, longevity. And mm -hmm. I am speaking there about immortality in an Arab country uh, where they are going to create this fund with millions of dollars. So I'm really, really excited to go to Dubai. And from Dubai, I go to Berlin to the Rejuvenation Summit. And Maria, I hope you go there too also. Yeah, I'll be there, yes, definitely. To Berlin. Many things are happening in longevity. I'm really excited. And I think the future brighter and moving faster. Um, 10 years ago, there was only one conference on uh, anti-aging. This year, at least 10 conferences. 10 conferences this year, at least. It's very exciting moment for sure. It is. It is exciting. And so, Ilya, congratulations on this and all the other people uh, working here on longevity. Uh, we need to keep on working together to accelerate this uh, movement. And Daria also, Daria, uh, congratulations. You are in the new board uh, of the new foundation by Aubrey de Grey. And we missed you. We missed you because you couldn't get a visa to come to Europe. But yeah. Aubrey de Grey announced his new foundation. And uh, Daria is one of the board members. So congratulations, you, Daria. Congratulations. Thank That's you, such great Thank you. As, as always, a lot of energy we are getting. And speaking of conferences, uh, I already said to some people here, on March 26, 27, we're going to have a huge conference in Israel, probably with uh, Sami, with many others. Uh, so uh, we'll make it big in, uh, in March, so please. Uh, reserve the time for that as well. It will be sponsored with ILA. So uh, welcome. So, yeah, let me yeah. tell you, besides Sami, uh, Sami who, who is, as you said, a billionaire uh, from Israel who lives in uh, Switzerland. He lives in Lugano, Switzerland. Uh, Yossi Vardy is also interested in anti-aging. He just turned 80, uh, Yossi Vardy, and he, he is kind of an immortalist. Not totally, but uh, very close to an immortalist person. Yes, this is true. All right, great, great. Uh, so uh, I, I feel the main value, for, at least for me, from such meetings, you know, we have uh, 30 people. Uh, it's just mutual encouragement. We see that a lot of uh, amazing people doing amazing works from all walks of life. From, I'm just so inspired for the next uh, year, at least. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for all you do. Um, I guess uh, we can, you know, finish uh, uh, finish this uh, date for today. If anybody wants to add something that is very important, well, I always say, live long and prosper. I believe we need to live long and prosper. Yes, we do. <laughs>